fourth video tutorial on WebRTC. In the third video, I show you how to stop uh, the video stream and tracks in WebRTC. And then, now I'm going to show you how to dynamically change the video size. So, uh, in order to do that, uh, let's see, uh, here is what we had before, we requested the access, then, then we could we show the video you. and stop it. So that's what we had. But now we are going to modify that a bit and give another options here with a button to change uh, uh, the video size. So in order to do that, um, we go here to uh, our code and then we start making some changes. Um, so uh, this uh, part here, we are going to do that using the front end, using our regular uh, Angular components. and angular and html uh, component to do this one and in the next one we'll probably see if how we can we could do this one uh, from uh, from the back end uh, apis so <laughs> then uh, yeah i was here so what we have to do now is uh, I will quickly uh, just make this video short now. I will quickly bring a new design. So as so here I have uh, so here I have uh, a new div now with a left column where I want to uh, I want us uh, to put uh, all the menu will go in the left side uh, column you'll have them aligned here and in the center here you are going to have uh, our video so that is a bit uh, what we are doing here and in the center will have uh, our video so And then, yeah, here is that. And then I have also to bring uh, a CSS design. And we'll bring the CSS here. We still have some errors here, so we need to declare uh, this uh, attributes here so we'll go in the our components and direct here we will define uh, some properties here so we call it video or we can just directly come here take this one i will just put it here and it should be of type number and then the default here will be 640 and then uh, same with this uh, height we'll take the height So you have uh, you have uh, okay, you 
okay so I will take this one put it here with similar properties and then uh, the hat here will be 480 <laughs> we still have some heroes here okay so we come here ng model we use a uh, ng model here so we have to import some modules common modules and um, uh, what again I have the common modules and then the form module that one and then if this one is set we can save it so we can see how our design look like it's better now and then when we request the access we can see this one are enables so we can stop it <coughs> and refresh our code so uh, then as uh, that one is then yeah we have here our apply uh, okay we already have uh, our apply method is done apply size is here if not you can define it we have it and then we'll go here inside and add some logics if a uh, video element is set then this uh, video element native element width should be equal to this video width same thing this one should be height should be video height and then now in a console we set console dot lock and so I will take use the back code go back and no that one back code and uh, video size change to this video with video with time this video Right. so we set this one and then we have set the video height minimum is this one here is the maximum and then we request that and if we attach the video oh, oh sorry i will disable uh, the audio for now so i will disable the audio let's set this one to false and then refresh this request that start this and then here 
let's bring this one to 4 you can see then our video size is reduced we can also reduce it again to 200 and then we can also reduce the height here to 280 so yeah this is how uh, we can manipulate uh, the video size you can even make a small game with this one so enjoyable and all we do now we just make yeah exploit uh, our uh, angular attack to do this so yeah so this one was another one short video i hope you like it stay tuned for the next one bye